is Harvey. And I'm Charlie. And we're reading Swindle by Gordon Corman. And, and, and yeah, we have a frustration for S. Wendell Palomino. So he just got home and realized that the Bambino card was gone. And it was worth $1 million. It says um, here. It was worth $1 million. It says right here, it says um, Ultra Tech Security Alarm System Time of Alert 847. Attention Palomino. An alarm signal has been received from the following address: 531 Park Avenue, Extension C, Brooklyn, New York. Ultra Tech Central Station monitoring has reported the incident to the police. So he just got a message that there was like a break-in because Darren fell through the window. Oh, and uh, when he when the when he came home from the uh, Rangers Leaves game. Because yeah. he hit it in a, inside a turkey. So when he got when he got back to his house, he said, "I don't care about the safe. Where's my turkey?" So he was like really frustrated about like what happened, and like, he's said, like, he was like really frustrated about what happened and when he looked inside the bambino was gone so like he must be like furious like even though he even though it was kind of unfair that they stole it back um, he was really frustrated about um, what that his bambino was gone because he was about to make like a million dollars. Because like on the next page it says, Thieves nab one million card on the eve of auction. And it says that um in the paragraph it says that it's one of the most um it's the one of the most being called the most spectacular robbery in the history of sports collectibles. A 1920 baseball card valued as high as a million dollars was stolen from its owner's home last night. There the rare, the rare card was portrayed. Closer Babe Ruth, as a member of the Boston Red Sox during his first season last week, was taken by thieves who dropped off the skylight while climbing the system. Daring heist was carried out on the heels of two trained guard dogs and a bonded courier hired by Ruthie to spoil the card was to be sold scarcely 12 hours later. Please go investigating the links and including the harm search and the next session to add the final So, yeah, Darren was all in the Wait, wasn't it Darren who left the ladder? Yeah, Darren yeah. left the Darren left the ladder at um at Colomino's house because because the um he's probably getting the guard dogs are probably gonna catch him with the ladder in his hands. Because the ladder is really heavy and he'll probably be running like three miles per hour. Dogs spend like twenty. Maybe. So that's our frustration moment for the business.